Now I've said in previous Aussie Rules videos that the fact that there's no red cards or yellow cards or sin bins or anything kind of equivalent in Aussie Rules is just strange. It's strange. Someone can literally punch someone and carry on playing. Now you guys have told me that they have post-match suspensions and, and there are repercussions, but it just seems strange that nothing happens on the pitch at the time to stop that player playing. Now, I know it won't happen often, that the suspension is, is um, a real deterrent, but doesn't mean it won't happen. But anyway, let's check out some of modern day's AFL suspensions. That was hard to see, but he's out cold. He has not moved Harris Andrews. I reckon he was out before he hit the ground there, Duano. He is out cold. See, that didn't necessarily look... It was dangerous play, obviously, but it didn't look like he... He looked like he pulled out of it. It looked like he was going to punch the ball and, and just pulled out. It's, oh, it's tricky to say. It, so to me, it looked like he pulled away. But even then, he turned away and wasn't even looking at the ball. Nothing to kick to at the moment. As Hall off the ball. Oh, Barry Hall has whacked behind play. That is ridiculous. Barry Hall. He has smacked Staker. I do find that funny how the guy came to shove him and he just... Brent Staker. They were jostling behind play. Hall wanted a free kick. Lost his call. See, that... That is a perfect example of a player that should be sent off. Now, please tell me if I'm wrong. This is the wonderful thing about YouTube and social media. You guys get to have your input as well. Now, um, let me know. what Did this guy here, for example, get to stay on the pitch for the rest of the game? That's mind-blowing. It's just, it's just punch someone. You know, it's all well and good saying, oh, you know, the suspensions are, are, are deterrent enough. But clearly they're not. This is modern day era. And as I said, I'm not saying it always happens. But it does occasionally. Now, surely this player should not be taking part in any more of the game. And that is an ugly incident. I'll tell you what, the look of Brent Staker's eyes... I love how he puts his arms out, like, oh, I didn't do anything. Going to do Barry Hall a whole lot of good. And uh, Hunter remonstrated at the time, and then Bo Waters came in and flew the flag at quarter time, which was good. In right in the way. Blake Puzzled, mate. Lee really does. Solomon Something happened there. As Dean Solomon has worked to do, and I think he's been recorded. I'm sorry, I, I, I get, I get that his number's being taken, that's fine, but he's not actually, nothing's happening during the match. How is he allowed to still play? I think it's, it's crazy. God, it's that elbow, that elbow going straight into him. I'm sorry, but he shouldn't be allowed on the pitch anymore. Actually, let's be honest, he shouldn't be allowed on the pitch. Dreadful. Sorry about the dog taps. Just... Absolutely crazy. This is broken jaw, broken jaw territory. The Fremantle players have just realised this. They've just either seen a replay or at least been made aware of what's happened to Andrew Brayshaw, and they've gone to Gath. Brayshaw bleeding from the mouth. Oh, please tell me how any Australians, and and this isn't having a go, but please tell me how any Australians, why they think. Like anyone thinks that that guy should still be allowed on the pitch to play for the rest of the game. He shouldn't, should he? Surely not. He's just punched someone in the face. How is he allowed on the pitch? It's all well and good having a suspension after the game, but he's still allowed to play the rest of this, what, four, th 32 minutes. That's not right. Well, the fact that he hasn't taken his mouth guard out would suggest that his, his teeth are potentially loose or he's having... A, a real issue with his jaw because 
Otherwise, you'd think the mouse yes. guard would have come out. Mm. AFL's Strange. Matthew Buchanan has cited the Saints defender for four separate offences, including targeting Johnson's injured hand. Baker could miss up to 12 matches if he can test the panel's penalties. He'll be rubbed out for nine weeks if he pleads guilty. And a free kick, Martin. The handball didn't just... need to play on there. He had Robinson right there with him and he keeps going. Oh. Oh. He has flattened Stephen Martin. They play on the Brisbane Lions. And it's inside 50 to Rich. He's literally out cold and no one's, no one's looking at him. He's literally not moving and everyone just carries on. I'm sorry, but not even in... like. Rugby's got tough guys, but when a player is literally out cold, not even moved a muscle, it's not about toughness. It's not about toughness. You know, rugby players are tough guys. Aussie rules are tough guys, but... <sighs> Tom Rockliffe. Yeah. And now Stephen Martin. We hope that he's OK, but it's certainly... Boiled. But don't worry. He'll be able to play the rest of the game, look. Well, the, problem was, the other guy won't, but he will. The problem is, I'm sure I'm going to have, I'm going to have some Aussies saying, "Oh, it's a part of the game." Yeah, but should it be a part of the game? I was watching the guy with the ball, throwing cap in top left. What even happened? If you end someone else's game, you should also end your game. Uh, I don't know how anyone can argue that. How, how can anyone argue the fact that if, if, if you intentionally go to endanger someone else and end their, their rest of their game, why should you be allowed to carry on playing? You can't surely, surely, you, you know, surely you can't argue that. Oh, he's just literally knocked him out. Oh, we're doing some wrestling. Belly to back suplex. Do Australians like uh, professional wrestling? Not as bad as a punch, granted. Not as bad as a punch, but completely unnecessary, isn't it? Completely unnecessary to completely lift him up. That could easily land on his neck, and that could be dangerous. Luckily, I don't think he did. More on his shoulder, but... <laughs> He's just punched him and... Oh, man, how did... It... How do these guys think they can get away with it? There's loads of referees in Aussie rules. There's like a hundred referees on the pitch. How do you think you can get away with that? Cameras, hundred referees, thousands of people in the stands, and they still think they can... Uh, look at his legs. His legs are buggered. Ah, well that don't help, does it? However, retaliation, there is still no excuse for retaliation. So basically, if this was a football game, if this was a football game, white gets sent off, black gets sent off. They're both off the pitch. They've both gone to endanger each other, both off the pitch. They don't deserve to be playing the game. And you can't argue that. I'm sorry, you just can't argue that. I didn't even really see it, but they're both. Down over the ball, the head must be protected. 
That's the problem, and, and this is this is what they're cracking down on in, in rugby union. It's protecting, protecting yourself and the other team. Out of this day, our cameras didn't capture it, but there is Farmer fallen. Stephen Baker, who you really seem to think was in a scuffle with him, was quite some time away by the time we found him on the ground with that camera. Yeah, look, I didn't see the point of contact, but uh, I saw Jeff Farmer fall, and he was a stunned person. And, uh, well, we see the blood coming from the... Midland conditions very different at any hat under the roof. Adams, who got the first goal of the match. It's sometimes quite difficult to see with so much going on. Is that a full brother to the chicken wing lead? You know about those sort of tackles. Adams is hurt. He's still holding that arm. He's not too good. He yanked his arm out, didn't he? And I, I, I said, I am so. I, I don't want to offend Australians. I don't want to upset people. But as a reaction channel, I say what I see. Now, as I said, there. How can someone end someone else's game, try and endanger them, and still carry on for the rest of the game? Yes, there's a, there's suspensions afterwards. However, that should be an added. That should be an added um, punishment. They should not be finishing the game. You know, they've just, they've just knocked someone out unconscious. He's not able to play the rest of the game. You know, the guy that's knocked him out carries on. It just seems bizarre. It might be a cultural thing. It, I don't know. But how, how can that be allowed? It's beyond me. Uh, beyond me. Um, yeah. I'm happy for you to tell me that I'm wrong. But I'm sorry a, a player that takes someone out doesn't, doesn't deserve to be playing the game for the rest of that match. Anyway, well, nice light-hearted start to the day for for us over in, in England and a nice end to your day over in Australia by the time it's put out. So, yeah, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.